שלום. שלום, 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 this prayer in English. Thank you. Father, build of Zion and Jerusalem. A tradition that we are building on is a tradition that started in Israel almost 120 years ago. A tradition of planting trees to not only perform our act of creating life, but also saving our environment. I have a new meaning um, to planting trees right from the Holy Land. That planting trees is, goes beyond 
the ordinary environment conservation and stretches all the way to a spiritual act of doing what God wants. I think it gives us a new dimension on why it is not only right, it is not just important, but it is also spiritual for us to plant trees so that we can keep the environment given to us by God in its original and in better state. To mention to you, Kenya is engaged in planting 15 billion trees in the next 10 years. This is an exercise that we believe as Kenyans that it is our contribution to building on what others have done in changing the dynamic around environment in our globe. We live in a world that is changing for the worse because of the activities of man. Because of uh, what we have done to the environment because of climate change, because of fossil fuels that is contributing to pollution and the heating up of our environment. We have more droughts, we have more flash floods, we have more damage to our environment. And because we collectively have caused this, it is our time to collectively fix it together. We are proud that Holy Land is leading the way and I want to promise you that your brothers and sisters in Kenya will walk in your steps. And as I have told you, we are in the process. We have a comprehensive plan. We have a uh, 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 we are working with other partners and hopefully we can learn some experiences from Israel and from Jerusalem on how best we can actualize our aspiration to plant 15 billion trees in Kenya as we support the environmental conservation exercise that goes on everywhere in the world you to the special tree planting ceremony in the Grove of Nations. This grove in the valley under Yad Vashem is a symbol of international goodwill and friendship with Israel. Presidents and prime ministers from all over the world have planted trees here to lay the roots of peace and cooperation. And today, as part of a long-standing friendship with the Republic of Kenya, we are honored to have President Ruto and the First Lady here to plant their roots here in the holy city of Jerusalem. Keren Kayemet Li Israel began in 1901 in hopes of creating a Jewish homeland. KKL JNF has, has had many roles over the years, but the heart of the organization is planting trees and sustainable development for a better Israel. In the 1950s, there was a massive tree planting effort here, not seen anywhere in the world in those days. So much so that Israel began to have forests, and with this, KKL JNF, under special agreement with the government, operates as the Forest Service and Land Development Authority in Israel. <laughs> In the Jewish tradition, trees have a significant spiritual and ecological connection. It is written in the Torah that the man is the tree of the field. The trees symbolize life and growth. In fact, the Torah teaches us that the person who plants a tree creates tradition and continuity for many generations. By coming here today to plant a tree, we're not only creating a tradition for future generation, we are declaring our commitment to protecting the environment. When God created man, he said to him, see how pleasant and fine my works are. 
make sure you don't spoil and destroy my world, because if you spoil it, there is no one to fix it. Ni ukweli. 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 Ni 